everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got another Heron Habitat card for you. This card is a little more involved than the other two cards you'll find here on YouTube that I showed using this stamp set. We're gonna do a watercolor background, which if you know me, you know I love a watercolor background. Um, we're also gonna use this stamp set, Ocean Front. I thought, oh my gosh, that goes so perfectly with our little seagull here. Um, the first thing we're gonna to need to do, though, is our watercolor, because we're gonna to need to give it lots of time to dry. I am using a piece of our Sun Prints designer series paper, and so, therefore, we are using the Starry Sky ink, because that's the color of that um, DSP. You're gonna need a water painter and your Starry Sky, and you're also gonna need a clear block, which, I did not pull out, but I'll pull this one right here. I'm gonna use that to get lots of ink, kind of like my little palette, my little artist palette. The first thing I'm gonna do is get my paper nice and wet, right? We're just gonna kind of prime the paper. And then we're gonna pick up that ink and we're gonna start at the top every time, All right? I'm squeezing a little bit of water there to, to make that a little bit more watery. And every time I'm gonna start at the top and move down so that the color is gonna be more intense at the top and get lighter as we go down to the bottom. Now I have a full piece of watercolor paper here that I have taped down to just a scrap piece of chipboard. Um, that way it keeps it from curling up And every time I'll pick up that color and start at the top so that our top part is going to be the darkest. Now this piece is bigger than we're gonna need it. So I won't worry too much about the taped edges because we're gonna cut those off. And you can just do this until you reach a color that you feel satisfied with. You can even let it dry and come back and do another layer. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. And we're gonna do, we're gonna add some water splotches to it, but we're gonna give it some time to dry first. Let's do some of our other stamping while we wait. Um, I also, to match the watercolor background paper, I have a watercolor, um, stylish shape square here. And the stylish shape square is cut from watercolor paper, obviously, so that it matches. I'm gonna grab just some scrap paper right here because we're gonna stamp off. I'm using this image twice. I'm gonna ink it in the starry sky and then I'm gonna stamp it off on scrap paper and stamp it right up here like this. Okay, so it looks kind of like the water. Now I'm gonna take my chamois, we're gonna clean that off, and we'll do crumb cake, and I'm gonna stamp off again. This time I'm turning it, whoops, we've got a dimensional. I'm gonna turn it this way. They fit together kind of like a puzzle piece, okay? Then I'm gonna take the little dots. Th these, both these pieces are from that water or ocean front stamp. And I'm just gonna kind of add some dots of, of sand. All right, now let's bring over early espresso. Take my block and grab that piece of grass. Again, this grass is from the ocean front stamp. I keep wanting to call it waterfront, don't I? I'm gonna stamp it first in early espresso. And then I'm gonna stamp it again and again and in light ink. I'm gonna stamp off over here and just do it once right there, okay? All right, now let's stamp our bird and cut him out. We're also gonna cut out some of the grasses. So the bird, I'm gonna stamp in basic gray on basic white, all right? And then we'll also stamp our sentiment on the, ha the heron habitat piece in um, starry sky. All right, we are gonna use a seasonal label die right here for our happy birthday. And then we'll grab 
our bird and put that right there. Make sure you get it lined up both at the beak and the tail. Now I have a piece of crumb cake. We're gonna cut two of the larger grasses. And then I've got a piece of craft and we're just gonna cut out all these other little grasses. I don't know if we'll use them all, but this is gonna give us lots of choices. Okay, let's set this down, make sure nothing has moved. My craft paper is a little bit curled, so those are slipping around a little bit. Yeah, it looks like they did slip around. They're coming everywhere, coming off, but look, they cut perfectly. All right, let's get these all off. And we're gonna cut one more of the crumb cake grass. We need two of those. So let's get all of these pieces. Be careful not to lose them. They're very small. And we'll run this one through one more time. All right, let's put all of our pieces together. Um, we have got a, we've got the DSP. We've got this piece of vellum that I'm gonna cut a very shallow V in. I'm gonna start right in the middle and cut up about half an inch and then use my scissors to go from the corners up to that V. Looks like I didn't get it straight, so let's try one more time. There we go. All right, we're gonna add this with my dimensionals, which have escaped. We're gonna put this here like this okay and then we're going to take our liquid glue and we're going to glue these grasses kind of poking out to the side so that we can really see them like that and then we'll take our dimensionals And put that on there like that. You can pull that grass out a little bit more. All right, let's start with our little bird, our little seagull right there. And then I'm just gonna take these grasses, these little crumb cakes, smaller grasses, and adhere them down here with some glue. Like that, and I mean, you can do as many or as few as you like. And then my favorite part are these adorable little pebbles that we have, these pebble enamel shapes. They're so fun. And I'm just gonna take a few, maybe like three, and put them down here on the bottom. They're so realistic looking. They really add a lot to your card. All right, now let's put our sentiment on with a dimensional right here. And then we'll add a bow with our linen thread. A little bow. Not too big. And that can go on with a glue dot. And then our little decorative piece is ready. So now we just need to wait for our watercolor to dry. And it's looking pretty dry, but I wanna do something else. I'm gonna take my water painter and I'm gonna get some water down on the end and I'm just gonna kind of drop some water. like that okay i'm gonna let it sit there for a second and it's gonna give us some texture on our watercolor then i'm just gonna take my paper towel and dab see how it adds just a little bit of texture all right and now we need to give this a good 10 or 15 minutes to dry all right we've given it plenty of time to dry i'm gonna peel this tape off 
and we're gonna cut this down. Now, usually I cut my pieces down to four by five and a fourth, but I want this to cover the complete card front. So I'm gonna cut it to four and a fourth by five and a half. All right, so four and a fourth. And I want the darkest part to show the most. So I'm gonna cut off that edge and go all the way to five and a half, right there. Okay. Now you can adhere this to your card with regular adhesive, but what I like to do when I'm covering the card front is I like to take adhesive sheets and put adhesive sheets on the back it turns it into just a big sticker and it's not gonna curl up on the edges at all this way. All right, so put your adhesive sheet there and let's cut that excess off. Now, the only caution I have for you is that you have to get it in the right place the first time because this is some serious adhesive. You're not gonna be able to peel it up and uh, reposition it like you might be able to with other adhesive. All right, I'm gonna peel these pieces off. If I can get them to come off, they just don't wanna come off very well. There we go. And I'm gonna put the dark part at the top and make sure I get those edges matched. I'm going to lay it like this so you can see it better. And I'm going to lay it down like that. And there's my card front. Now let's bring over this piece and we're just going to put that right there. I'm going to use four dimensionals here for this. One, two, three, four. And there's your card. All right, fantastic. Let's look at them together. They're a little bit different, but still the same. All right, make sure you hop back over to my blog, grab the free PDF that has a complete supply list and the measurements, and make sure you subscribe here on YouTube um, so you don't miss any of my videos. I have two other hair and habitat cards if you're looking for more ideas. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.